Hi, I'm Mira. Welcome to Flow with Mira. We have a full body beginner workout today. This class is perfect if you are new to Pilates. I'll go through the Pilates breathing and then let's go have some fun. So let's come meet me on the mat. We're going to start kneeling. So kneeling onto your knees. And if this is not comfortable for you, you may go ahead and sit down like so, or even cross leg if you need to. All right, so I like you to kneel upright and I like you to make sure that your shoulder, your ears, your shoulder, your hip and your knees are in one vertical alignment and that your pelvis is not what we call anterior tilt or neither hanging forward. All right, now have your palm, heel of the palm on the side, lower side of the rib cage. We inhale through the nose and we exhale through the mouth. We'll do some diaphragmatic breathing here. Now, like you, as you inhale, allow the rib cage to expand 360 degrees, pressing against the palm. Now, as you exhale through the mouth, the rib cage deflates away from your palms. Inhaling. Expanding, exhale. Now it could be quite tricky when you first start learning this. When you learn this first time, that's better English. And we inhale. And exhale. Just see how much can you expand your ribcage. Into your hands. Exhale, and the ribcage deflate. Again, three more times. And try to breathe as long as you can on the inhalation, as well as the exhalation. One more. Good. Now we're going to add some deliberate abdominal engagement on the end of the exhalation. So this is where we are going to recruit our deep abdominal muscles, the corset muscles, our natural corset called the transverse abdominis. So here we go. We inhale as we did before. As we exhale, we deflate the ribcage. And then towards the end, I want you to deliberately draw in the abdominal muscle like as though you're wearing a tight corset so this abs is nice and tight and inhale exhale and press an imagery that you can use as you exhale, imagine you have shoelaces across the front of the abdominal. So as you exhale, you're going to shoelace the abdominal muscles all the way up from the pubic bone all the way to the lower rib cage. And an in breath. And exhale, shoelacing all these abdominal muscles creating a nice corset-like tension around the waistline. Let's do two more times. In breath. Exhale. And while you do that, I want you to maintain the length of the spine so we don't crumble down and slouch in the spinal column. Let's go one more time. In breath. Exhale. Nice and tight. All right, well done. Let's go to the floor. The best way is to roll into your side and then let's go ahead, lie on the back. Okay, now I want you to lift one leg up, grab the shin or the knee with the hands, hold and draw in the abdominal muscles and bring the second leg up. Let's do some ankle circle here. We're gonna roll the ankle in and out, one direction. And just breathe naturally. 
as you circle the ankle. And let's go over to the opposite way. Keep circling the ankle. And then release, okay? Now let's move on to some hip circle. We press the thigh to your chest, open the thigh out and pull the thigh away. And we in breath and exhale. Try to keep the pelvis nice and heavy to the floor here. And in breath and exhale. One more. And then reverse. We pull the leg away out and towards you as you in breath. Out. Try to keep the circular motion nice and smooth within the hip joint here. And two more. Last one. And release. We lower one foot down. Second leg down. Half your feet in parallel position and half your pelvis in a comfortable neutral position here. Bring your hands on the shoulder for some shoulder circles. So we go bring the elbow to each other, bring the elbows up and around. We're just gonna in breath and exhale as we circle the shoulder. And in, mobilizing the shoulder joint. And exhale, one more. And then reverse, we go down, out and up. And in breath, and down, two more, and then last one, and let it go. Arms not long by the side here, chest is nice and opened. Your feet needs to be in parallel position, aligned with the center of your hips. So approximately about a fist, just stand between the heels, okay? Let's move on to some pelvic rocks. We in breath. As we exhale, we go back into that drawing, that transverse abdominus. Then we keep drawing the abdominal deeper. And I wanted to imprint that lower spine. So you rock the bottom of the floor. And release. Yes, you in breath. Exhale. Abdominal in to curl the pelvis up. In breath. Release. Exhale. In breath, release. Three more times. So we are mobilizing our pelvis and the lower spine, which can be quite tight at times, especially if we have a job that requires us to sit down for a period of time and draw in and release. Last one, exhale and release. Now let's take it further. So we go ahead and Rock the pelvis using the abdominal. Now press the feet, engage the hamstring, the muscle behind the thigh. Press the arms down. Keep the abs into a spine and start peeling the spine up. As lift the pelvis as high as possible into a bridge position where you create a straight line from the knee all the way to the shoulder. So you're gonna to have to lift the pelvis as high as possible. But keep the abdominal engaged. Inhale at the top here, exhale. We roll down, we soften the jaw, we soften the chest, we soften the lower rib cage, we soften the lower back, and we release the pelvis back to neutral position, the start position. Exhale, we draw in the abdominal, we curl the pelvis, and we press the hips all the way up to the bridging position. We inhale, exhale, we roll down from the top, middle back, lower back the pelvis and back to neutral again we breathe out we roll up 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 now we need to engage those arm muscles and press the arms until you can lift the whole pelvis and the spine a little higher exhale we roll down all the way back to start position let's do one more time exhale we roll it up, 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 high, and in breath, and we roll back down, down, and release back to the start position. Let's take your arms up to the sky here. 
palms facing towards your thigh. We inhale as you take your arms overhead. I want you to allow the ribcage to keep lengthening down towards the pelvis. So we do not hyperextend the ribs up. Exhale, draw in your abdominal and bring your arms down. Inhale, the arms float up and over next to your ears. Go to your maximum range before or without lifting the rib cage and down. In breath, arms overhead. Exhale. So we're moving the arms from the shoulder joint and we do not disturb the placement of the rib cage and the spine. Last one, in breath, arms overhead, exhale, and we take your arms down. Moving on to our leg lift. Now we stabilize the pelvis. Imagine you have a cup of tea resting on top of the pelvis. Let's draw in the transverse abdominus, the tibia muscle, the natural corset that we have, we take the leg away from me up to a tabletop position, knee over the hip joint, chin is parallel to the ground. We lower from the hip joint, exhale, we lift, we lower, exhale, lift. Refrain yourself from rocking the pelvis and arching your back as you lower the leg down. Exhale, one more. Exhale, hold the tabletop position. Press the palm, your hands, down against the thigh and just put a break with the thigh as we breathe out. So we in breath. Exhale, we press down, hold it. We draw the abdominal in so you really feel the abdominal muscle tensing and release. Two more times. Exhale, press down. Hold the thigh, maintain a contraction of the abdominals, and release. One more. Exhale, press down, and release. Lower the leg down, arms go to the side of the body. We have the other leg. Make sure you do not shift the pelvis as you lift the leg up. So maintain a contraction of the abdominal. Lower the leg down from the hip joint and we'll lift. Inhale. Remember, we have that imagery of cup of tea resting on your pelvis, on your abdominal. Keep the pelvis stable so you do not spill the coffee or the tea. And then bring it up. One more. And bring it up and we stay. Hands pressing against the thigh. We push down. We contract the abdominal, switch on the natural corset for five. And release. Two more times. In breath. Exhale. Press down. In breath. Release. Last one. Exhale. We press down. Hold the corset and release. We lower the leg down, and now we bring the first leg up again. We extend the leg straight up to the sky. We lower down. As we breathe that, we're gonna really pull in the abdominal, and then we bring it up. Exhale, lift the abdominal, and then up. Exhale, in breath, lift. Three more. In breath, lift. Two. And lift. Last. And lift. We bend the knee. We lower the foot down. We take the other leg up. We straighten the leg. We lower. And up. And lower. And up. As we lower the leg, I wanted to think about pulling the pelvic floor and the lower abdominal upward away from the leg. And then we fold. Exhale. So we do not want to arch your back as we lower the leg. So do your best. Maintain the stability of the pelvis and the lower back. And two more. We'll lift. Last one. 
We lift, we bend, we fold. Now interlace the fingers, place the hands at the base of the skull, at the head. Elbows are off the floor, moving to our chest lift position in breath. As we exhale, I want you to deflate the abdominal. So then we fold the chest up from the lower rib cage. Allow your head to rest into your arms and be heavy. Grab the back of your thighs. Bend the elbows, lift up a little higher. Now hold that new height. Hands back and down. Exhale. Lift. Inhale, arms forward, up a little higher. Exhale, arms back. Then we go down. Again. Exhale. Inhale, arms forward and lift. And arms back. And we go down. Let's do two more. Exhale. Arms forward, bend the elbow, come up a little higher. Arms back behind your head and down. And last one, exhale. Arms forward, lift up a little higher. Now here, release the arms, stretch forward. We stay, little pulses, reach your arm forward. Give me more flexion and slight release. And more, two. And three, four, five, six, seven, last one, eight, hold. Grab the back of the thigh, come up a little higher. Hands behind your head. We add the rotation towards me. Arm onto the back of the thigh, lift up a little higher. Hands behind, back to center. Over to you. We rotate from the waistline. Grab the hands. Lift. And back. Center. And come back to the floor. Again, forward flexion. Towards me. Rotate. Opposite arm to your thigh. Lift up high. Hands. Center. Rotate. Arms to the thigh. Lift up higher. Hands, center, and down. Again, two more times. Exhale, to me, rotate. Grab the hands, lift up higher. Hold a new height. Hand, center, rotate, and lift up. Hands, center, come back. Let's go one more set here. We lift, rotate. Grab the hands, lift up higher. Hands back, rotate, rotate. Grab the hands, lift up higher. And back, center, and come on down, well done. Okay, let's turn your body face me. I want you to interlace the hands behind your head. Let's move on to our chest opener. Stack the legs together, have your feet aligned with your pelvis. Lifting the underneath waistline so we don't slouch down. Activate this obliques. Interlace the hands, move on to our chest opener, my favorite one. We inhale as we open the elbow and then we rotate the trunk, the spine, and look back behind you. And return yourself back to forward facing. Inhale, open, and rotate up and back. Exhale, again, inhale, we rotate, exhale, we cross, two more, inhale, rotate, and exhale, one more, in breath, rotate, exhale, Return. Well done. Release the top arm. Extend the bottom arm long. 
still engaging the lower waistline upward, let's move on to our climb. You can have your hands here if you like to. Now here, open the top leg, keep the pelvis stable, and then we close. Let's do 10 here, two, and then we close, and three, and we close, and four, and five, keep the lower waistline lifted at all times, and seven, and eight, two more, nine, last one, ten. We straighten the top leg, we bring the bottom foot forward, so you are in 90 degree angle at the hip knee joint, and let's lift the top leg up, let's do a leg circle. We go forward, up, and run back behind the hip. Two, up, back, three, and back, four, up, back, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, reverse, back, and back, up, Forward, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. And well done. Bring it in. You can give your bottom a little hammer and help yourself up. And then we're gonna turn over to the other side. So we start with the chest opener. Interlace the hands, the back of the head. Stack the legs, align the feet with the, cent with the pelvis, with the sitting bone. Lifting the underneath waistline. And let's go. Inhale, opening and rotate back. Exhale, we close. And inhale, open the elbow first and then we start rotating from the spine, from the top, middle, then lower. Exhale. And close. In breath. As we rotate. Exhale. We close. Two more times. In breath. We rotate. Exhale. We close. Last one. And out. Exhale. Well done. All right, moving on to our clamp. Bottom arm is long. Maintain the lift in the lower waist and open the thigh. And we close. And open two. And we close. And we open three. Again, we want to make sure that the pelvis stays stable at all times. And five. And six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. We extend the top leg long, bring the bottom foot forward. Let's go to some leg circle. You can have your hand here if you like to. We're going to lift the leg. We're going to forward, up, and back. Two, and back. Three, back, four, five, six. Make sure you go back behind your pelvis. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Reverse. We go back, up, and forward. One, and two, three. Behind your pelvis, up, over, and forward. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold the bottom waistline. Nine and ten. All right, bring it in. You can give your bottom a little hammer there. Okay, and then let's help yourself up. All right, I want you to sit to the front of the mat. Let's move on to our spine stretch here. I want you to flex the feet, 
lift the spine up, align your ear, shoulder and your pelvis. Take your arms forward and straighten the legs as far as you can by while you maintain the upright alignment of the spine. Take an in breath here. Exhale as we articulate the spine down. We roll down and we bring the body forward. Inhale, drawing the abdominal deeper as you reach yourself a little bit further forward. Exhale, start from the lower abs. You zip up. The abdominal as you lift the spine. It's an upright position. Exhale. We roll down. And we go forward. In breath. Go a little deeper into that stretch. Exhale. We lift the abdominal. Then we stack up the spine to an upright position. Three more times. Exhale. We roll down. And forward. In breath. Hold, exhale, roll up, and tall. Last one. Exhale, we roll down, and we go forward, in breath. Exhale, we roll up, and we lift the spine up tall. We take the arms up to the sky. Hopefully, we still maintain the upright alignment. And then we pull the arms back for 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Stay tall. Bring the feet together to a diamond position, interlacing the hands behind your head and just rest your head into your palm and allow your elbow to, cup, to come forward here. Now, spine twist. We exhale, rotate to me, double breath. In breath, back to center. Other side, exhale. Inhale, back to center. And rotate. Inhale, spiral back to the middle. Rotate. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, center. Exhale. Inhale, center. Two more sets. Inhale, center. And nice and tall with the spine. Last one. And, and center. Arms out to the side, please. For some side stretch here. Let's go over to me as we side bend. Soften the bottom elbow and take the top arm over. And lift the spine and upright. And to you, inhale, side bend. Soften the bottom elbow and take the top arm over. Pelvis down, extend the bottom arm, arm out and middle. And side bend, pelvis is heavy. And soften bottom elbow, take the top arm over. And now we extend the bottom arm, lift through the spine and coming up. In breath. And over. Inhale, lift. Exhale, last set. Inhale, side bend. And arms over. Inhale, lift. And back. Last one, inhale, side, and top arm over, and lengthen, lift, and come up. Well done, and let it go. Let's go to our front here. So we have your legs long behind you. Let's bend the elbows and bring the forearm by the shoulder side. Now have your legs long behind you. I want you to engage those legs muscles and feel like someone's pulling your feet away. Pick up the abdominal here. Now as we exhale, draw up the abdominal muscles so you can lengthen the lower spine. As we inhale, glide the shoulder blades down and keep the forearm down. I want you to lift the upper middle back as high as possible and then come down on the exhale. And inhale, gliding the shoulder blades down. 
legs are active. Then we glide the upper back, the middle back, up. Neck is long. And come back down. Again, inhale. We lift. We call this the baby swan. Up. Exhale. We come back down. Again, inhale. We lift. Upper back. Middle back. Exhale. One last one. Inhale. We lift. Up. 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 Exhale. And down. Now here, arms are long by the side. Off the floor, palms to your thigh. We'll do the same thing. Inhale, we lift up. Now this time, without the help of your arms, you have to really activate that middle back muscle to help you up. Open arms to a T position, maintain that height. Arms back to the side of your thighs and come on down. Inhale to lift. Open the arms, exhale. Inhale, arms back. Exhale, arms to a T, like an aeroplane. Arms back to your thigh. And we go down. Again, two more. Inhale, lift. Arms to the T. Exhale. And down. Last one. Inhale, lift. Arms to the side. Arms back. And we go down, well done. Bend the elbows, bring the forearm down, push the floor away and round the back. Send the pelvis to your heels. Go to the rest position. Arms are long, nice and active. Send the pelvis as low as possible towards your heels. We inhale here. Exhale. One more. And let's roll the spine up. And now let's go back down to the floor. We're just going to finish the class with some relaxation breathing. So roll to your side. And I want you to just bring the feet together and allow the knee to just flop back to the side like a diamond position. And open the arms out to the side here. Close your eyes. And just allow the body to settle down to the floor. And I just want you to breathe here, inhaling from the nose as long as you can and exhaling from the mouth. And as you inhale, you're feeling that ribcage expanding, you feel the abdominal, the belly just expanding, still keeping its elasticity. And exhale, you allow the breath to deflate everything. So it's just listening to the rhythm of your breath. There's a sense of expansion of the belly, of the rib cage, like jellyfish, as you inhale and as you exhale, they just naturally deflate, allowing your body to melt even more to the floor. I like you to I like to invite you to stay on your mat and continue with your breathing continue to relax your body down to the floor as long as you can spend as long as you have 
as long as you can for today. Allowing the belly to expand, allowing the ribcage to expand, and allow them to deflate as you breathe out. Clear your mind. And just listen to the rhythm of your breath. I'm going to end the class here. So thank you for moving with me today. And I wish you a really, really lovely, lovely day. And I'll see you back on the mat tomorrow. Thank you for watching and completing the class. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my seven day beginner challenge. Click the first link in the comment below and sign up. You will receive daily workout videos focused on building a sustainable practice in as little as 15 minutes per day. This is for all levels as everyone can gain a deeper understanding of the Pilates fundamentals. If you enjoy my work, like, comments and subscribe and turn on notification so you do not miss any of my free classes and programs. See you on the mat tomorrow.